Hey everyone, it's Summer with Astaria Sen, and today we are talking the next chapter in Fairy Craft. It is actually chapter six that we are talking about, and it talks about joy and how um, how there can be joy in in the fairy and how we can find that. And it talks about connecting with other people, connecting with uh, events in your community, um, dressing up, and um, how all of that really brings another aspect, a deeper level of, of the fairy realm to you, and how you can connect with other people that that build a community around this. And I mean, there's a lot in this chapter and most of it revolves around the different kind of fairy events, both in the US and I believe the UK. And she talks about where you can find information on that in both places. And she also talks about ways to dress up and how to apply that to everyday life, like small things like this, like my little elf ears, like it's not a big deal. You know, nobody's gonna think that I'm, I live in a very conservative area, so if I walk out without with my elf ears on, people will be okay with that. But if I were to walk out in full, you know, head to toe fairy outfits, people are going to be like, wow, what's wrong with her kind of thing, because that's the area that I live in. They don't just accept things like that. But small little things, um, wearing different kinds of things that are little and non-in-your-face, um, tend to be an everyday thing that can be um, implemented into your life to help you feel more fey, to help you feel more connected with the fairy. And also to just give you that joy, because I love wearing my elf ears, actually. <laughs> and I like dressing more fairyish um, and, and less, you know, businesswoman-y. So I think, you know, all of that is important. And I think connecting with other people is super, super important as well, especially in the areas. Now, she also has like at the end, she talks about different things that you can do like for dressing up. And she talks about the different elements, air, water, fire, and earth, and how you might dress up that way, like what you can implement that way. She also talks about where you can find a template to do like a mask, which is really cool. Like this chapter is like super, super cool. Um, and she, you know, the dressing with awareness is important. Um, Celebration. She talks about celebration and how to celebrate fairy by, you know, doing a fairy party with your friends or even if you don't have a fairy thing in your community, which I don't really like the closest thing we come is the holistic fair. So I may or may not do this. I don't know if it's something I can take on right now, but maybe in the future I will. But doing a fairy event because fairy events are popular. Kids like them. Adults like them. People like to dress up for them. It gives them a reason to connect to something that they otherwise might not. So I think that's really important. Um, and then she talks about, uh, there's an interview in here in this chapter with one of the people who created, uh, I think the UK fairy magazine. Um, I don't remember what it's called, the UK one, but the, the US one is called fairy magazine. And they changed the name actually to Enchanted Realms or something like that. But I plan on getting that magazine because it's pretty cool looking. I, I do have the book that goes with it. They do, um, like the, the mermaid handbook and the fairy handbook. It's the same people who do that, do the fairy magazine. So I, I have the fairy handbook. So I plan on doing the fairy magazine at some point too. But she's got a lot of great stuff in here that's really costume based. A lot of pictures with different costumes on how people see the fae and how they see themselves in the fae world and how they connect with the fae um, in that instance, there is even a challenge that she did in here, which is really neat, where she spent like the day looking for like how to find like a cheap version of uh, creating a fairy outfit. And she went to the thrift stores and she got different things to go with her fairy outfit and how she put it all together. And she walks you through the steps of how she put it all together and everything. So that's really cool. And I just really enjoyed this chapter. It was very fun, very joyful, um, very positive and uplifting and really talking about how you can connect more fully in your communities or, or even online communities with other fairy people. So hopefully I can find some more fairy people in my area. That would be kind of cool, right? I'm going to do some more looking. Um, yeah, here's the interview, the interview with Karen Kay. That's what it is right there. So I think that's really neat, actually. Um, I'm really interested in that. Yeah, she's UK based. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So yeah, so that's that's what that's what this chapter entire chapter is about is community and connecting with other fairy people and dressing fae and how to connect more fully with that and the enjoyment of it and the positive aspects of it. So that's it for this chapter. We'll move on to chapter seven 
in next month. So yay. All right. So super excited about all of this. I'm not sure if I'll make a fairy outfit. I may or may not try it. We'll see. I do have the event coming up at the end of this month. So maybe I'll make something fairy-ish for it and wear it. And then I'll share it with you guys next month. All right. So you guys have a fantastic day. And if you are joining me on my fairy craft journey, let me know which chapter you're on down in the comments. And if you're not joining me and you just are entertained by me telling you what the book's about. Hi, <laughs> thanks for joining me. All right, you guys have a wonderful week.